All right, welcome back to Daytime Tri-Cities. Once again, we are live this morning here at Brumley's Restaurant inside the General Morgan Inn. We've got the executive chef joining us early this morning, Chef David Lehman. And Chef, thank you so much for coming in and really showing us some of these new menu items. I, I heard it was an early morning for you. Uh, it was, yeah. <laughs> Woke up at 6. 6 a.m. to get all of this prepared. And certainly when you're talking about the experience at Brumley's, really top notch as far as the the cuisine that you make and the experiences that you create. Absolutely. Yeah, and we're showing some of the new menu items right now. And we're going to start over here with your charcuterie board. Absolutely beautiful. Tell me a little bit about this one. Uh, so we've got a selection of local cheeses. Uh, we've got Rocky Top smoked cheddar. I've got a uh, port wine derby. Um, there's Fontina and Grand Cru on there as well. We've got prosciutto. Uh, grain mustard, apple butter, uh, some fresh berries and dried figs, mm. and our flatbread. Oh my goodness. And everything that you do, the presentation is such a big part of that. Absolutely. How do you do that? How do you come up with the different presentations on all the different dishes using color and, and textures? It's picking and pulling from past experiences and learning from other chefs. Wonderful. Well, it is beautiful, and I love that every time you create your bite, it's going to be a little something different. Absolutely. That's the idea of a charcuterie board, so uh. you get a little little taste of everything. And also using the local meats and local cheeses, and I know that's so important to you as a chef. Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, let's move on over here. This salad looks amazing using pear. Is that pear or apple that's, up that's here? That's apple. Oh, my goodness. And the feta cheese. Tell me a little bit about this one. So this is our fall seasonal salad. It's an apple pomegranate uh, salad with a maple Dijon vinaigrette. It's got candied pecans, uh, dried pomegranate seeds. It your looks beautiful. Apple, yeah. And your dressings. Tell me a little bit about your dressings. So we make all of our dressings from scratch. Um, that one is uh, based on a recipe I used in a uh, previous restaurant. I jazz it up a little bit for the salad. Looks wonderful. And this one, when you first came out, we could just smell the different vegetables that were roasted over here. And then, of course, the colors in here. So th that's our vegan mushroom risotto mm. with roasted vegetables. So that's, uh, there's no dairy, no cheese. It's uh, thickened with coconut milk at the end. Um, and that's been a big seller. Oh, I I bet these vegetables and you're using some of those those things that we're seeing in season right now. Absolutely. Yeah. How um, important is that? That's very important to me. Getting those flavors and then you're known for your risotto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yummy. And then, of course, we we saved this. This is the, the new entree on the menu. And you can tell it is just loaded with all kinds of good stuff. So chef kind of describe this for me. So this is our certified Angus beef, uh, 12 ounce. Uh, New York Strip. Uh, it's char-grilled. Um, the certified Angus beef is some of the best beef on the market right now that you can get in restaurants. Um, it's always consistent. Um, and then I plated that up with our uh, garlic mashed potatoes mm. and our uh, fried Brussels sprouts with a fermented garlic honey. Uh, it's got Parmesan cheese and uh, pickled serrano peppers. Oh, wow. And when you're describing all of your menu items, I mean, there, there's a long paragraph that goes oh, into yeah. that. You're, you're pulling so many different things. How do you, how do you come up with the creativity and, and putting all of these beautiful dishes together? It's all uh, part of a process where I, I try to make stuff value added. So I'll take something that I get fairly cheap, do something to it to make it not only last longer, but taste better and look better on the plate. And this has been going on for a couple of weeks now, these new menu items. What has been some of the response from some of the, the regulars here? Um, they're, they're loving the, the selection of options they have now. Uh, we have five sides now where we only had two before. Um, they're getting to customize their plates. So you can pick any two of the five sides to have with your, your entree. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, Chef, you did an incredible job. This all looks beautiful. We want to let everybody know that the restaurant is open Tuesday through Saturday evenings for dinner. You can pull up a chair and dine with us. Of course, here at Brumley's at the General Morgan Inn, they're very social. You can find them on Facebook as well as Instagram to find out some of their special events coming up as well.